Hello everybody, my name is Evie Carter and I'm a PGA Golf Professional. I'm doing this video on behalf of the Golf Foundation today as I am one of their trustee members and also this is for the world's biggest golf lesson which is airing on Tuesday 2pm and it is in order to raise as much money as we possibly can for all the NHS charities during these really difficult times. Okay, So, just a bit of background onto the Golf Foundation. We're a charity um, which try to make golf accessible for everybody. Um, we don't we don't have high barriers to entry. Um, not lots of equipment are needed. And again, we're just trying to change lives through the use of golf as a sport. Okay, that's one of our main objectives. Now, in this lesson today, there's going to be two parts. One is going to be for the the child that hasn't actually played golf before. I'm going to talk you through the equipment, which is very very minimal. And then also we're going to go on to the second part, which is for golfers. And I'm going to give you a couple of um, drills, really, to give a go at home and see if you can improve your putting. OK, so the Tri-Golf. We use these Tri-Golf clubs, plastic, safe in all aspects, really. Um, if you are looking at purchasing one of these, they're from Davis Sport, really, really minimal cost. And again, in this drill that I'm going to do today, you can use all different objects and things that you can replace with things that you've got at home. OK, so one plastic golf club is what you're going to be needing. This is the putter range. You can get a variety of different ones. And all I'm then going to be using is a smaller tennis type ball. Again, if you don't have this, normal tennis ball is absolutely fine. OK, so. They're the only two things you need really. You can use toilet rolls for the cones that I'm going to substitute in now. And the first game that we are going to play is called Finders Keepers. Now, I'm going to use a variety of, you can play this against one another. So if you've got your family and everything together, you can put some different colored cones on, or again, you can put any different, any color cones across. So on the map that you can see here, again, just a bit of a shout out for this. Went shopping the other day in Aldi, Six ninety nine for one of these mats. So I don't have anything special in terms of the putting mat. It is literally six ninety nine from Aldi. So again, low cost. Now all you're going to do is just scatter some cones across. Now if you wanted to make it a little bit more competitive with one another, you could just put a few different coloured cones and have a bit of a scoring zone going on. That's your setup. That is literally all you're going to have to do. Now, before all of that, all I'm going to talk you through is actually how to hold the golf club. OK, so if you're right handed, if you're right handed, you put your left hand at the top, right hand at the bottom. OK, and then you're going to try and create a triangle from your shoulders to your arms. So you can see that now triangle down up. That's all you're going to do. Feet shoulder width apart and you're going to feel as though you're rocking backwards and forwards, maintaining that triangle all the way through. OK. That's all it is really. So now we're going to go to the other end of the mat, place the golf ball there. Now, again, like I said, you can play against one another if you wanted to, or literally just give your child a go. Golf ball, go to try and hit a cone. So once they've hit the cone, oh, just missed, okay? And they can just keep on going. You can set a, a target of how many golf balls that they want to give a go to, or literally just keep on practicing one after the other again. So here, back, wrapped, hit the cone, pick that up, put it on their pile and then keep on going. It literally is as simple as that, find his keepers, hit the cone, pick up the cone, see how many you get. Okay, the next one that we are going to give a go at today is called Tunnel Wall. Now all of these drills as well guys are all on the Golf Foundation's Junior Golf Passport resources, which I will then attach after, okay? So it's all of these different games here that shows exactly what I'm doing, but just in a format like this, okay? So Tunnel Ball is where, let's use orange cones this time, is where you literally create a tunnel, like so, now, in terms of spacing, it doesn't actually matter how far apart you want them. Obviously, the closer they are, the more difficult the tunnel is. And the overall aim of this is golf ball at the other end, try and achieve that golf ball to go all the way through. So this teaches how to use the club face and try and get that club face to make sure that, that ball is staying nice and flat and square to where you're wanting the golf ball to go. So here, let's see if I can do it. Golf ball. 
oh, just a little bit short. But again, praise a child for getting that club base to go all the way through and then just try and keep on progressing through, okay? So they're the two try golf activities for people that haven't actually played golf before. Even if you're an adult, give it a go with your child. See how you get on, really. But again, very you can use toilet rolls, skipping ropes, anything along those lines to actually create your tunnel. So give that one a go. And again, I will add those on as a resources. Second part of the lesson is we're going to go on to an experienced golfer. So I'm going to pick up these cones now. And two challenges again. The first one is going to be... I'm not going to say super difficult, but it's quite hard. You're going to put two mugs on your putting mat. Now, again, the distance between these mugs can be how hard you actually want to make the challenge. So, first of all, I'd probably say make it a foot width distance, okay? In the middle of your mat. Just put a marker down there at the other side. And what you're going to try and do is, I have got a proper golf ball here, but again, you don't have to use a proper golf ball. Any golf ball will do. And you're going to put that ball by that marker. And the aim is to try and get that golf ball to go through those mugs. Now, this helps with your starting direction. The progression on from tunnel ball by not using the sponge golf ball and the cones of a longer length. But when you're on the golf course, you're wanting that ball to start on the right target. Especially with putting because the golf ball's a lot smaller, you're a lot closer to the hole and you're wanting to bridge that gap and make sure that you're actually aiming more towards the hole, okay? So here, I've got my proper putter out now. Head cover off. And I'm going to take my setup again, making sure that my feet are shoulder width apart. My club face is aiming square. I've got a nice straight back, and I'm literally going to go tick, top, straight through. Now, how am I going to make that more difficult? We're going to move the mugs together, okay? So, edge them ever so closer, ball marker, take my setup, watching the ball through, tick, top. And again, keep on doing that as close as you possibly can to really help that starting direction. Again, a great opportunity to play against one another. Another person could be stood at the other end. And you can take it in turns going backwards and forwards, hitting it through the mugs, and see who first hits the mug. If that's the case, the other person wins, okay? So I'm gonna try it a little bit closer again. Taking my setup, tick. Oh, just got it through, okay? So you can see the progression with that drill, depending on ability, but it's something really fun, using mugs that obviously everyone's got at home, I'm just giving that one a go. The next one is looking at distance control and alignment. So all I've got here are just a few plastic pink tees. I'm going to turn them the wrong way around and I'm literally just going to scatter these across my mat upwards and this is going to be your targets, okay? So I haven't put them in any generic form. They're literally scattered all over. I'm gonna move my starting direction back slightly. Use my putter. And I've got to somehow hit these tee pegs down. Now I use this as well, coming back on the golf course, on the golf course, but obviously turning the tee pegs the other way around. And it just narrows that target down. But if you can hit a tee peg, you're going to be able to get it in the golf hole, okay? So it really focuses the mind down, narrows that target line, and really tries to get the club face going where we want it to with a nice controlled stroke. Okay, so my first one is going to be this far one in this corner. So I'm going to take my setup again with my grip, and I'm going to go tick, top. Oh, just went over to the right-hand side, okay? So I give it another go. Don't worry if you don't get it on your first attempt. This is the whole point of these drills. This one is not an easy drill at all. So let's go again. Tick, top. Oh, went over to the right again. So also, it looks at the break on this putting mat. Obviously, it's not gonna be running like a putting green on the golf course because of the slopes from on my patio. But still, I should have learned from that first one there that it went over to the right-hand side a little bit. So I should have aimed a little bit further left. 
let's give it one more go. Okay, so stance, tick, and again, did exactly the same. But you understand the concept of this drill. You are aiming for that golf ball just to tap the tee peg and hit it over, okay? I hope you enjoyed those videos, giving you a few tips and enjoy the live session. Thank you very much. Also, any questions that you have, please feel free to message me on Instagram, Facebook on my email. I'm more than happy to answer any of these questions. Thank you very much.